All right, this video is going to be very easy. It's just regarding customizing the CSS of Chat Engine. So, in certain situations, people want to change the CSS of certain parts Chat Engine renders. So, maybe you want to change the color of the message bubble, or maybe change the color of this button, or for add a background color. Whenever you want to change just the CSS of a component and you don't want to rewrite it yourself, you can just use our custom CSS. CSS hooks. And they're very easy to find. Every element within this UI has a Chat Engine link to it, or a Chat Engine class name, or a Chat Engine ID. You would be able to specify this in an app or index.css file and add whatever attributes you want. So let's do a simple situation where I basically change the color of every message bubble to red. In my example project, it's super simple. I just used create React app and replaced all the app JSX with just a chat engine instance project name, username, user secret, and a height. Now let's customize the message bubble class name. So if we do that, can we just do, let's say, background color and we change it to, I don't know, aqua, because why not? Add an important tag to make sure it makes its way all the way to the top. And when you click save, you should see that change applied here, right? This is a classic, you know, uh, easy example, but you can get really granular with it. So in one of our more famous tutorials, we did Microsoft Teams, right? And we had to make the entire app look very Teamsy, and I added a bunch of custom CSS on top. And it's really easy to see basically what you can tell I'm doing, right? So a danger button, we change the color, a primary button, we add a new background color, you can basically guess how this will look. So if I control A, control C, and I just paste all this new CSS in here, and I click save, you can see those Microsoft Teams-like changes that we applied here, right? Everything's kind of purple and gray by default. We don't have anything on top of the chat feed because we actually rewrote it in that tutorial, but it's very easy to guess. And if we want to you know, change that center, you now know how to do it. You basically just click on the elements of interest, you get that class name, and then you can involve that you know, in the files here. So just to really bring it home, um, we'll just you know, rewrite the name of it. So I think if we add color, do that, important, you can guess what's gonna happen. That's gonna turn to that dark purple color that we want. So in a nutshell, customizing the CSS is very easy. If you wanna change the way something just looks, then you just hook into it with inspect elements, find the class name or ID, and update the CSS file accordingly. And those child, those changes will get applied.